I didn't understand the impact it was going to have on our family. I said, you need help. And I said, I can help you. That's how fragile my family was at the time. We had to have help. I wouldn't be there without them. They sacrificed so much for me to, to be in the position that I am. I don't forget that. The preface to life's journey has its way of bearing sentimental recollection. We somehow vividly remember the small details of moments that wrote their way into the first chapter of our story. Our childhood is where it all began. The moment he picked up a baseball bat for the first time, Clint Frazier fell in love with the game. The game that ultimately became his storyline. I just remember when I was uh, in T-ball, my mom was throwing to me in my front yard with a, a yellow Playmate bat when my dad was off at work. So I guess my mom taught me how to hit. He was probably 18 months old in the front yard, all he wanted was to play ball. He didn't want to do anything else. So as soon as he turned three, we signed him up for T-ball. He was the only kid out there that didn't have to hit off the tee. So, <laughs> drove everybody crazy. Ever since I can remember, he has always had a passion for the ball and the bat. Pretty much every memory I have involves baseball. <laughs> Growing up, it was clear that Frazier was talented. He was always one step ahead of the competition when it came to baseball. And though he was not the tallest or the strongest, his natural ability was simply unmistakable. I saw him as a manager in seventh grade. You know, we let him take BP one day and he was parking balls over the fence. He caught everybody by surprise. I knew he was good around this area, but, I, but I'd ask the scouts, I said, you know, I can't, I can't put them up against a kid from Texas or California because I hadn't seen it. And they said, well, he's the real deal. We were playing Grayson, Austin Meadows. Biggest game, I mean, it was, the place was like a state championship atmosphere. They had a division one arm on the mound who could really throw it. And Clint had a fastball and it went over the fence, over the road, over the power line and the top of the oak trees. It's the farthest baseball I've seen hit in high school. Clint put his heart into baseball, but there was room for more than just the game to inhabit. His classmate from Loganville High by the name of Ethan Rutledge was in a terrible car crash. The following day, he was taken off life support. You know, when he passed away, everyone, it was like they lost their brother, everyone. The impact he had on everyone was, was substantial. So I figured it might mean a little more to them if, if I reached out to them and tried to personally give something to them rather than going online and just funding to their, their GoFundMe account. He said, I just want to sit and talk to them and hear about, you know, their family. And um, there's a verse in the Bible that says, to whom much is given, much is required. And so I don't think that always means in a, in a money sense. Maybe it's your time. And I, I think that's how he feels. His sister was so young. She was a 10th grader. And I didn't know Emily that well. So I had to try to find a way to let her know that I want to be there for her, but I don't want to overstep my boundaries and ever make her think I'm trying to be her actual brother. I'm just trying to be someone that is going to share emotional conversation with you and let you know that people are thinking about you and, and you will make it through this. Five months after Ethan's passing, more devastating news from Clint's home state. Five Georgia Southern nursing students killed in a head-on collision. Though Clint did not know any of the victims, one name stood out. Emily Clark. Frazier felt in his heart once again to reach out and lend his support. This time to Emily's boyfriend, Neil Hollis. 
I just remember reading about it. I remember seeing how horrible it was and thought to myself, you know, I don't know if this guy knows who I am or anything about me, but I'm going to reach out to him and let him know that, you know, I might have a few things to offer. You know, at the time, I was struggling baseball-wise, too, and hearing Neil's everyday struggle made me realize how small mine was. I mean, I was focused on a, a batting average, and he had just lost the girl that he said he was going to marry. You know, you don't know what kind of impact you have on somebody until a situation comes about, and, and then you get to see it in front of your eyes, like how much you mean to them. Clint Frazier matured at an early age, both on and off the field. He flourished in the sport that he grew up loving, and his dreams were just over the horizon. But nothing prepared him for the news he received from his family. I was unaware of the situation. You know, my, my parents hid it from me because they, they wanted me to be able to focus on baseball. And I was thankful that they were thinking about me in that aspect, but I was also upset because I knew I could help. I just remember asking my mom, where's dad's truck? Get a company truck. And she was like, oh, it's in the shop. I was like, no, it's not. I said, that thing's been there for two weeks. Where is it? She said that he lost his job, and I called my financial advisor, and I said, this is how much I want to give them, and I handed them a check the next day. It's like I, I told him, I said, I said, Bubba, I said, daddies are supposed to take care of our sons. Sons are not supposed to take care of mom and daddy. And he said, well, as much as y'all have sacrificed for us, that's the least I can do. So it's, it's very humbling very humbling to go through that. He's seen struggles that we've been through, and that's hard, and, and he was just a kid when it happened. So I really think it's just, it, it pricks his heart to do the right thing for others. The pursuit to become a professional baseball player is a mission few can take on. It takes a special person, a special passion, but more importantly, it takes a special support system. We're still on the journey. It's been quite a ride so far, and the good thing about it is he's allowed us to ride the ride with him. There's a lot of sides of Clint that people don't get to see, and I think this is just the beginning for him as far as his giving spirit and just the way that he is wanting to help so many different people. I think this is just the beginning. I want to see Clint reach his full potential as a baseball player and as a person, and I want him to impact kids across this country in a positive way. I'm more than a baseball player. You know, I'm not just Clint Frazier, the guy who swings the bat. I'm, I'm a human being. I, I care for other people. I want to see them succeed just as much as I want to succeed myself. And if I can help someone succeed, I'm, I'm going to try to. I mean, I want to be known as a, a very good person, someone that cared, someone that loved for others, and someone who overall generally wants to see you do good. Being a professional athlete is more than pulling on a jersey. It's more than statistics, rings, cups, and trophies. It's more than just a game. It's a journey, a journey of self-discovery. A journey for Clint Frazier that has just begun. You can see more Yankees on demand and Yankee scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there.